Hello, it's Katja here for the Pin and Bear Creative Team. This time I have a canvas for you and I have some leftover shipboards um, from my start and a lot of molds, wings and bones and skull and bones uh, from Pin and Bear and uh, like that. And I want to do something with the leftovers so right now I'm doing the composition. I'm preparing how to organize. Um, I'm not always doing this. Sometimes I improvise, but this time I will have the metallic paints in the background. So that's why I want to have like a little bit check out where I will have them. And the numbers will be like in the background and molds from uh, Redesign and from Finnabar. The skulls are from Finnabar. And now I'm using a, a pencil and drawing, sketching a little bit where I'm thinking where I will have the metallic flakes. And I'm taking a photo in my phone. Yes, that's a good idea to take a photo if you're happy with the composition. Uh, sometimes uh, I use, sometimes not. I will use the Finnabar Gilding Glue and the fine metallic flakes in Barcelona. And the Gilding Glue, it's a glue that's will get really really sticky after applying it and when it's uh, start drying it would be like sticky and it's perfect for the metallic flakes or glitter or mica powder um, yeah you must add something on the top and here i will have flakes on the top so i'm, I'm adding where uh, i have uh, make my sketches. This Barcelona flag, it's adorable. It's uh, red, black and gold. And uh, you can add with your hands, like tapping over from the jar. I'm using a really bad brush and tapping it on. Uh, I still want to have a little bit uh, of the background, it's white. I will not add like completely. Then I pull it from the jar and tapping on. But here I want to leave in the background the whiteness a bit. So I'm speeding up and tapping on the colors and the colors come out randomly and uh, it's just amazing effect. So, and then I'm tapping with my fingers. Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And um, if you like the channel, uh, remember to click the bell button so you will have notifications every time it will come a new video. You're so welcome. And please, Please, please leave a comment. Now it's time for black heavy gesso. Yes, I will add gesso and I want, and I will tap it with a, uh, with a sponge that I have been cutting it. So I like it goes really quick and easy and it doesn't need to be complete perfect. And you see, the metallic flakes was like in halo effect. And now it's, I will do a little bit different what I'm used to do. I'm picking out some small items from a box and I will paint everything in advance. You can do it afterwards, but I had add like the, uh, already the metallic flakes. And now I will paint everything at least one coat. Sometimes I go over with two coats. And this time all my embellishment will be in black. When everything is dried, 
uh, painted, I will do uh, one of, it's, is it a butterfly or I don't know. I will paint it anyway with white heavy gesso. Uh, it have a lot of texture on the wings, so I'm sure it go in the gaps. So I paint on the upper side and on the side. And this uh, butterfly, I'm not sure if it's a butterfly, but anyway, uh, I will add Gidding Glue because I will add the metallic flakes also on the here. So it not only will be on the background. So I'm heating it, speeding it up and drying it a little bit with my heat gun and adding the metallic flakes, tapping it on and it will go everywhere in the gaps. And here I'm sure I want to cover the top exactly. And I notice that the glue hadn't come everywhere. So you can do that if you are sure that it will not uh, cover really well. You can do it again. Add some gilding glue on the top. Yeah, where you want to have, add gilding glue. And when it's dry, add even more metallic flakes. It's perfect if you want to cover the background totally. So it's really nice way to give your uh, embellishment a metallic flakes coat. And uh, it's the random effect is just, just amazing. Look how sparkling and glittery it is. And I'm tapping it uh, with my fingers a bit also. And the sides I will tap with the uh, black heavy gesso with a sponge and also it goes a little bit on the edges so it gives like a nice shadow effect so it will be like framing. I uh, add that and a little bit where the white space is left I'm using the brush. So I like the butterfly really a lot, sparkly and nice. Yeah, happy with the effect and the sides are black. So be sure to cover all the sides. Okay, now it's the time to glue everything. Uh, you can watch your phone or you do it all over. And I'm adding my things now and I'm gluing with the 3D gloss gel. And uh, have pretty much and I will leave these over the night uh, to glue, to dry up because uh, sometimes it takes time. You can use a heating gun also. And you see, I'm trying to spread out the 3D gloss gel and it's very really amazing gel. And the numerals comes from redesign and a branch. It also comes from redesign, but the skulls are from Finabare. Uh, wings and skulls, wings and, uh, wings and bones and skulls uh, molds from two different molds. There are a lot of skulls in the sets. And the skulls are just amazing. And yeah, the butterfly will be on the top of the eyes of the middle ones like uh, a symbolic effect. And here I have my glitter and um, my 
glitters, yes. And I have from glitter from the uh, autumn set and where I have been adding a little bit extra of the 3D, I'm adding glitter. So it's an amazing effect that gives a little bit texture, but even more, a little bit more glitter. Now I'm doing the most, uh, you must pull off the extra glitter that haven't been fastened. So I'm pulling it off. Now it's time for white heavy gesso and I will do the dry brushing. And the secret is to not have too much of uh, the gesso. So be carefully and light handed and always start when you have a new brush where you can think to have a little bit more extra. So I think uh, the dry brushing effect is just amazing and you can have so much possibilities with this and yeah I always love to add dry brushing effect on different products you can do brush uh, dry brushing with metallic paints to highlight or like this uh, that I will add some color on the top and I already love the effect that is really white so even on the butterfly i highlight a bit so i'm really happy with the result i will add a little bit color to it and now i have the liquid acrylic paint it's a, a liquid paint and it will uh, stay uh, when it's dry so if you want to blend them do that when they are uh, wet and when it's dry they will be stay there. So I start with the color brown because I want to add a little bit of grunginess to my project and I always uh, when I do the liquid acrylic paints I spray uh, some water uh, to make it move. So if you have a little bit too much of liquid acrylic paint, add a baby wipe or, uh, or you can spray water and it will start moving. Very easy. Now it's time to add a little bit effect, not so much the color carmine. It's a red orange color and you see me, I'm adding it here and there and then I'm spraying water on the top because I want the color to flow and to not be so vibrant but to give a little bit effect here and there to pick up the red but also to give it more grunginess. Then I will have the black ink and that's give like a shadow effect so I'm not using that on the top. I go around embellishment a bit to give it like a 3D effect to make some shadows here and there. And on the metallic flakes it will not be so much because it, it's a glossy surface uh, but you can add it on the, on the top of your embellishment a little bit around it. It gives effect. I have some metallic uh, embellishments and I want to add a label. So I have here uh, find yourself. Um, I like labels and it could be and I also have these pocket watches. Uh, that is a gorgeous color rusty and brown and it works without doing nothing. And I also have these mini knobs. Uh, metallic and I will add some of them on some special places like on the uh, skull on the top and uh, some more and um, to give like fine extra detail. And I'm shading a bit. I'm using the heat gun because uh, I don't have the time to leave them to dry. Now I'll change the color of the label. I'm adding white uh, heavy gesso. I'm pulling off 
little bit of the color so the patina color doesn't show up so much and then I'm adding uh, the burnt sienna on the top so it's very easy to change the color of the labels and embellishments and now I highlight again a little bit here and there with the white gesso, heavy gesso I'm having a very tiny brush because I will I go over like really randomly I have uh, melange art pebbles I have that in the pocket watch and for painting it the back side of the paint uh, or the pebbles I have royal red paint and I'm painting it and when it's dry I will glue it in the middle of the pocket watch yeah and using the 3d gloss gel uh, there so it get give a really right color and wow I challenged myself the most scary color again the red I'm really happy about my project and that I challenge my myself and that it's to believe in yourself and to trust yourself. Yeah, you can do it. So happy to see you and much love to you and see you soon again. Bye bye.